ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. There is a tension between two different world views. One underlines the welfare of society. Another one underlines the welfare of the individual. Of course, I'm talking about extremes, but we find many states, regimes, where society is the most important element. For instance, in communism, everything was the collective. The individual didn't matter that much. In fascist societies, it's the state that is the most important institution. The individual doesn't matter that much. And we hope that in a democracy, of course, the individual is very important without neglecting the state, of course, without neglecting the collective, because we realize it is impossible to live by ourselves. We need schools, we need hospitals, we need institutions, we need society. We can't live by ourselves. We need the help of other individuals in order to be able to grow, in order to be able to develop. In Judaism, I think that the emphasis are, is on the responsibility of the individual. The Ten Commandments are said in the singular second person, you shall not murder. Thou, in Old English, expresses it better. Lotir tzach, that means you individual, not you society, not you group, you individual shall not do that. So it's very important. On the other hand, of course, we know we need a minyan. In other words, we know that we need society in order to have kosher meat, in order to have many things, schools. We need, of course, the collaboration of many other people as well. I want to make emphasis on one law in the Torah that says the following. Such a thing as divorce exists because not in all religions do they envision that there is a possibility of once you're married that you should be able to get divorced. How can you get divorced? The Torah mentions it. If a man finds ervat davar, which means an immorality in his wife, he can divorce her. And if she then marries a second man, and this second man divorces her as well, she cannot go back to her first husband. That is the mention of divorce. It doesn't say divorce simply, but sequential divorces. But the idea of divorce exists. So there is a dispute among our rabbis, Bet Hillel and Bet Shammai. What is the motive for divorce? Why should you divorce your wife? It says, he no, she no longer finds favor in his eyes. Ki matzaba ervat davar. So Shammai says, listen, if this woman had an immoral conduct, that is a reason for divorce. Bet Hillel says something else. No, it can be really anything. And Rabbi Akiva goes even further. He simply saw a woman that is more beautiful than her. That's enough reason for divorce. Yet we know that traditionally, divorces were very rare in the Jewish community. Even though it is so easy to divorce, you don't even need a, a real cause. And the halacha, our decision is like Bet Hillel. She doesn't have to commit an immorality. You can get divorced. Why is that so? So I repeat again. The reason for the divorce is not what really causes the divorce. People just don't get along, and that's why they divorce. And traditionally, people did not divorce. But if they did divorce, our rabbis did not want that a stain of immorality remain with that person. Because if, if the reason for divorce would have been that she committed adultery, then everybody would know that she's an adulteress. Maybe nobody wanted to get married with her. But on the other hand, maybe the reason she got divorced is because she combed her hair from left to right instead of right to left, or some silly thing like that. There's nothing basically wrong with a human being. In other words, our rabbis were very careful not to taint the individual in order to safeguard the rights of the individual. And even after a process of divorce, that person should occupy a worthy place in society. So this confrontation between society and the, and the individual, this tension that exists, one has to look for certain compromises. 
because society is important and the, indiv and the individual is important. But when one system gives emphasis upon one and disregards totally the other, you get into an extreme that is really noxious and not good for society. So be sure that we encounter the right equilibrium between the two things. Thank you.